Welcome everyone to this video where we are going to use external segmentation data directly into AB Tasty in order to create custom targeting criteria but also reporting filters. We are going to use the Universal Data Connector API and I'm going to drive you through this project step by step and with a concrete example. Alright, let's go! First of all, let me introduce you to my personal website. This is a very basic website with a bunch of fake content. You can see I have a login system and I can fake two different logins. I can either log in as Henry or log in as Peter. This is definitely not going to change a lot of things yet except the top left corner when I'm going to display the current user. However, each time I have a visitor logging to my website, I store his ID in his browser so I can reuse it wherever I want. In my example, I'm simply storing the visitor ID in the local storage. If I switch from one user to another, this ID is obviously going to change. On my CRM, I do have segmentation data. Based on what I know about my customer, I know for a fact that they have personal preferences when it comes to colors. I know that I have some customers that prefer the color red, when some other prefer the color green. I even have a sense of which shade of the color they prefer. Knowing that, I am able to extract and download a CSV file containing all this information. And guess what? I know that Henry is a red lover, when Peter is a green lover. I even know that Henry is more in the intense red, when Peter is more for light green. I'm not going to use this information for my use case, but I could because I own this information. I'm going to format this file into something ABTC can read, and this will give me a CSV file with four columns. First column is the, first, is the visitor ID. Second column is going to be the subsegment, in my case the shade of color, and third column will be the main segment, in my case the main color. Finally, the last column is going to be the expiration date for this segment. I've put 30 days, so this is the timestamp for 30 days after today. And this simply means that this segment won't be valid anymore after 30 days. Now I need to send this file to Ebitasty. a file only requires two steps. First, I need to authenticate myself using ABTasty's public API. On my ABTasty account, in the settings, I can create a new API user. I'm gonna check the send and get third party segments role and create my user which will get me the credential I need. Every time I'm going to send a file, I will be required to authenticate using this credential and post the request in order to get my token. Then, using the token, I am going to simply send the file using another post request. If it succeeds, then I get a state link allowing me to follow the completion of the task. It should only take a few minutes for very large files. I can then check if the upload was successful by calling another get root, asking for the segment of a specific user. I'm going to request the segments of Peter, and this is all the segment I get back as an answer. We can see that I do have the green lover segment as expected. Let's sum up. First step is all set up. The file is being sent, which means that ABTC knows about my segments and I'm exposing on my website who is the current blog visitor. So now, ABTC hosts the visitor ID slash segment pairs and the tag is able to identify a unique customer. I can now create the link between the two, so ABTC can have the segment of a logged visitor. For the need of this video, I'm going to hardcode script which call the API, but I could have also put it in the global code of my ABTST account. First, we are going to set up all the constants to call the API.
This was my base URL. Now we are going to copy and paste the identifier. Then we're gonna get the visitor ID. And finally, we are going to construct the final URL. Then we can call for the URL using a curl. which would get a data output that we are going to turn into a JSON. Then we are going to do a bit of processing on this element. We are first going to get the exact color the customer like. We do something very dummy for this example just to go quick, but obviously if you have several segments, you will need to create a cleaner script. Then we are going to stringify this JSON in order to store it in the session storage. Then we are going to put a bit of ABTC processing. Again, that's just for the dummy example, you don't necessarily need to do exactly the same as I do. This is simply going to reload ABTC to reapply the customization that are going to be needed after. Then you don't forget to add a catch condition, just to make sure you log everything. We can see it in action on my website. I'm currently not logged in, I'm going to change that. You can see that I added Henry as a visitor ID. Let's have a look at what happens in the network tab. Each time a customer logs in, I use the visitor ID I've put in the local storage and send this information to the ABTC API. Then the API answers with a matching segment for this specific visitor ID. I finally store this information in the session storage of the visitor's browsers. Each time I switch user, a new request is sent to the API using the current visitor ID. The session storage always has the latest information from the API and thanks to that, I do know that the log customer is a red or a green lover. I can then start my customization. It is a multi-experience personalization with two scenarios targeting the same URL name, respectively Red Lover Custo and Green Lover Custo. As a targeting criteria, we are going to do something very simple. ABTC does not have a dedicated UI for Universal Data Connector yet, but it is planned and should have arrived in the first half of 2022. In the meantime, we are going to create a code targeting in the trigger section. We first check that we got an answer from the API. And then we check the contents of the answer. We are going to pass the array we got and try to find a segment matching red lover. If both these conditions are true, then the campaign will execute. Same thing goes for the second scenario, so I'm going to copy past this and just change the segment we are looking to match green lover. I'm keeping the surprise about the modification I've made in the visual editor, but it isn't something super fancy you'll see. I just have to launch a campaign and see if it works. Back to the website, I am currently not logged in as you can see in the top left corner. I am going to log in as Henry and see what will happen. So we can see that, indeed, I'm logged as Henry. Henry is known to be a red lover, so the website gets painted into red. If I switch to Peter, then it turns green, and so on. I can switch how many times I want, the ABT tag will refresh and display the corresponding color to match the current segment. Let's see what happened in reality. We already knew that when we are logged as Henry, we have Henry as visitor ID in the local storage. We have the answer from the UDC API, so we know that Henry is a red lover and was particularly intense. We do have the call directly in the network tab calling for the corresponding segment. And finally, we can have a look in the console and see that my customization is being accepted 
by the targeting criteria. Now, if I want to use this segment as a reporting filter, I just need to send the information back to AB Tasty using Universal Collect. So in the source code, we are going to put directly there the code that will send the segmentation data to AB Tasty. But again, we could have done it in the AB Tasty account global code or directly into the campaign custom JavaScript. But for the example, I'm going to do it directly from there. So we call for abtasty.send and we've checked that the ABTC object is defined and it's maybe preferable to check that the send method is also available before calling for it in a real life situation. We are sending a segment and inside this segment we are going to send an object. This is a syntax you need to follow to send a segment. We are sending segment color or more like a color segment that makes more sense and we are going to send the color variable we've declared right here. We're gonna save this. And back to the website, we can now filter the network tab by the Arian it. Arian is the name of ABTST data collection API. And we are going to see that each time we log in, so for example, I'm going to log in as Henry, we can see that several hits are being sent. The second one is regular hits for tracking, but this one I already know that this is my segment. And we can see that indeed we are sending the color segment, segment with the value red lover. Now we are currently sending the data directly into ABTC, so it can be used as a reporting filter. So starting now, I know that each visitor that will log in and be affected to a segment will also send this segment to ABTC that I will be able to use afterwards in the reporting. 